Today, we are going to be taking a look at my whole Seashore collection. I haven't showed it off in quite some time, so let's check out some of the newbies. Let me give you guys a quick peek at the entire display here. We are going to be starting off in my top finds ever little case here on the third floor. For everything that I've found over the last three years, only the best of the best make it into this level here. Let's start off in the corner here. Probably not going to be doing too much talking today. I just really want to show you guys my shells that I've collected over the years. What do we got here? A couple of Arabians. We've actually got majority of the best Arabian carries up the top of the case all in a little group but we'll show that later we've got a ton of shells here we got Stolidas, uh lesser girl the triton the little uh frog shell that i found in keppel island while snorkeling that was very awesome remember guys i found all of these shells here in other youtube episodes we've got over 350 episodes of shelling down under on the YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, I found all these shells in said videos. So go and check out some more of the channel after this video, of course. What do we got? We got Hebrew cones. Pretty much 99% of these shells were all found at the same beach as well. We got giant deer carries. That's the biggest one I've ever found there. My biggest baler shell I've ever found. Biggest hairy triton I've ever found. Super cool. Yes, I used to have neon lights on the roof of this, but we had to take them down because they were getting super old and very dull, and I'm yet to put some more back in. Bunch of carrier shells. Really hard to find those ones. All the grape shells. The Limousina carries. These three here. You guys didn't know, Limousina carries are extremely hard to find at my beach especially in gem condition like those three. As you guys know, I've been shelling at this beach for about three years now, and I've only found three of those, so that sort of shows you guys how rare they really are. Got a tiny hairy triton there, giant cherry carry there, a couple of urchins, big old textile at the back, biggest sea urchin I've ever found, which is awesome. Second biggest sea urchin I've ever found. Big piece of red fan coral. Pretty sweet. That's super fragile as well. What else do we have? Coral pieces, a sundial from Yapoon, from our latest Yapoon trip. Giant, uh, like, lion's paw scallop that I found in Harvey Bay. DNA coral, a tiny urchin there. Curica cowries. Shuttle shells, tiny urchins, money cowries. What do we got back here? Uh, a bigger captain cone, Arabian cowries, droop shells, topper shells, lynx cowries. All right, let's move on to the other side of this case. On the other side here, I had to move because there's glass doors here, but we have a honey cowrie, they're really hard to find here. A couple of moon snails, fingernail shells, more uh, grape carries. They're incredible. I love grape carries. They're probably one of my top, they're definitely in the top five of my favorite shells to find. Got a Humphreys carry there. They are super hard to find. All of my Wentel trap finds from biggest all the way down to the smallest. Very cool. I love Wendell Trap Shells. We find a lot of those in micro shelling. One of these purple uh, droop sort of shells. I love them. Super hard to find those ones. I actually only found that one recently. Uh, let me put them back properly. Captain Cones. That is also a giant carry shell. Geography Cone. Giant Bonnet Shell. Giant Turbo Shell. Another Sea Urchin. And a Sputnik urchin, which we actually recently found. Yes, I am going to leave its spines on. Uh, we've got a striated cone there. Paper fig, textiles. Love my textiles. I have found about 30 textiles. 
they're just in the case beside me just over there i'll show you guys that later so stay tuned for that what else do we have a little tiny geography cone that was one of the recent finds as well tiny one what else we got helmet shells i love the little dwarf helmet shells they're really hard to find bunch of curicas biggest sand dollar i've ever found imogen found that sand dollar in yapoon pretty sweet what else have we got abalone the only chinese carry i've ever found or the chinese carry that's just what us locals call them but it's actually a crabaria we have a tiny textile there a bunch of awesome grape carries a donkey carry that was actually gifted to me by a subscriber shout out to you uh, what else do we got little captain cones what else do we got you guys we got some awesome scallops those two those three there were found in harvey bay um what else do we have these here scallops the black uh, zigzag scallops were actually found on keppel island they were everywhere which is awesome got a murex shell there another paper fig a uh snipes head murex beautiful strombus right there let me pull that one out these this one is super rare at my beach incredible condition this one was also filmed in an episode of shelling down under so go check that out after the video we got a nicobar uh triton here very hard to find only one i've ever found actually another lynx carry there what else do we got Oh yeah, my biggest Murex. And a bunch of other good stuff. We've got a giant Ovula Ovum. Found that while night shelling in one of the earlier episodes of the channel. I used to go night shelling a lot, but I've stopped recently. But uh, yeah, that's the top finds cabinet to date. These are all my best shell finds ever. And the like 98, 99% of these shells were found at the same beach, apart from like... This one here from Harvey Bay, that one from Yapoon, and such such things like that. So, um, yeah, let's uh, move down to this level. As I said previously, this shelf here and this shelf here and this shelf here is my best finds ever. So I found all of these shelves, these shelves, and these shelves down here, including the Arabian carry collection up here and the textiles down here but we'll get to that in quite a minute but down below here as you might have noticed we don't have any giant uh magnificent volutes in this case because they're just so huge and they take up a lot of room so i prefer them down here the biggest uh well i guess the biggest shell that i've ever found is right here this is very, very broken, and I actually recently found it again in an episode of Shelling Down Under. It was stuck under a rock, and I believe it was sort of covered just like that, stuck underneath a rock. You can check that out. I believe it might be about three or four episodes ago, so check that out. Then we have more magnificent volutes everywhere. I've been really lucky with finding these. I've got one there. That was actually the most recent one. And they've been everywhere at the beach, beach recently. Pretty much anything that doesn't make this case up here goes down into this little slot here. So we have some more giant bonnet shells right there. Got a ton shell. This one wasn't actually found by me. I just sort of put it there. Thought it looked nice. Uh, we've got my only Nautilus piece I've ever found, a Nautilus core. So hopefully we'll find one of those one day. Do have another big ovula ovum eggshell so that's my second one ever what else do we got big old hairy triton right there uh, another magnificent volute another big baler that we found in harvey bay bunch of cool colored bonnets some a bit different patterns two big conjoined clam shells right there they're very cool. They're really hard to find. And yes, every single shell that I've found has either been uh, dead or empty. 99% empty. Every now and then you'll get the one that's dead inside. But uh, yeah, 
So here we have another freaky sort of bonnet right there. Bunch of hairy tritons. I've been very lucky with those. Some more Arabian cowries, deer cowries, strombus, paper figs, more hairy tritons. That here was actually the first Arabian cowry I ever found many, many years ago. That was really awesome. What else do we have? More and more hairy tritons. They're just everywhere. Telescopium shells. This is the only one I've ever found and that was in Yapoon. That was really cool. More Arabian cowries and more bonnet shells. And then you've got just sort of stuff everywhere at the front here like stilettos, this uh, big old frog shell, a couple of hairy tritons, a lynx cowrie and so forth. All right, let's move down to the bottom level. Alrighty, on the third level here, we have the sort of random cool stuff, like uh, this here, Volute. Very cool, very random, never ever ever find these. I've actually only ever found two of those. Got a bunch of uh, hairy tritons here, like here's one of them. Very cool. That's actually not the smallest one on this row either. Look at this one here. Pretty cool. So as I said, we just got a bunch of random stuff here. Like we got a bunch of captain cones, couple of murex shells, Kirika shells, uh, more Yapoon uh, scallops there, the black and white ones, bonnet shells, murex, a lot of carry shells, tritons, more bonnets, juvenile carries, lynx carries, a couple of more helmet shells, tiny uh, bonnet shells right here. That's pretty cool. Spindle shells. What else we got? An apple. This is what I call like an apple triton or something like that. Uh, what else we got? More juveniles. My first ever bottle topper. That's pretty cool. Avula ovams. Broken carrier shells. The Aussie tulip shell right there in the center. Some tritons. More murex. Uh, sundials. Triton shells. Juvenile, where is it? Juvenile uh, deer carry. One of the only ones I've ever found. That's pretty cool. Abalone shell, pink ovulas. Pretty sweet. White moon snails. Remember, guys, all of these shells that I've sh showed so far, this level, this level, and this level were found by me in the YouTube videos. We got over 350 videos of me finding all these shells myself so go and check that out here's an even smaller uh hairy triton that's pretty cool what else we got down here we got more and more and more stuff there's just so much to list i am going to uh let you guys just check them out real quick here here's one look at this this one's very cool this is a tiny baler shell very very cool these grow like 70 plus centimeters long i used to have a massive 40 centimeter long one got another helmet shell here i found about eight or nine helmet shells in my life Moving along we have a lesser girl did triton i think i've found three of these so far so they're pretty sweet they're pretty rare honestly got a ton shell the here here is the only piece of uh, Triton trumpet shell I've ever found super rare shell to find and that's the only piece I've ever managed to find That's the dream shell one day. They're the massive ones that grow huge We got a couple of baby ton shells got that cool abalone there. I found that on Keppel Island What else do we have? Spindle shells, murex shells, a spondylus piece over there Money carries helmet shells Ton shells, more helmet shells. Got a pretty cool turbo shell right here. Really beaten up. Pretty sweet though. That's the only one of those I've ever found. More little hairy triton shells there. So yeah, that's all my best finds right there. 
level number one of the truly best finds ever. Super rare shells to find in there. Then as you move down, you get sort of more random and uh, less rare, I, I guess you would say. This middle case here is for the rarer stuff. Now, all these shells I have either purchased or they've been gifted to me. Let's check them out. We've got a lot of rare stuff in here. So let's start from this side. We have a pre... I, I always forget this one's name. It's not in any of my books. So if you do know the name, comment down below. This one's rarer because usually these only grow to about that big in size. But as you can see, this one has super long arms. And I've had this one for quite some time. Here we have a deep water whelk right there. That was a gift from Imogen quite a while ago. Very cool. And uh, actually, a majority of these shells in here are specimen shells. So that means they have all of their data on little pieces of paper. Got a couple of triton shells here. I love this red triton shell. Super nice. And then, like, sort of its brothers right next to them. We got a massive Crabaria here. Very nice. The thing is giant. Now, this shell here is particularly rare. Uh, it is pretty expensive for its size. This shell is worth about 30 to $40 dollars if you want to put it into rarity using money. But, uh, yeah, they're super rare here in Australia. Hard to find. But um, what else do we have? A giant zig zigzag cowrie. Very cool. It's actually got some blue tack in there. Well, that actually came from a super old collection. Now, the rarer cowrie shells here. We have one of my favorite shells ever. The Zoila Friendi Friendi. These ones are found in Western Australia. You can only access these by scuba diving. They usually live about 30 to 40 meters in depth, just under the water. And uh, yeah, I love them. They're like a whole new type of cowrie to me. And then this one here is a Zoila uh, Marginata. Significantly rarer than the friend eye. Super tiny. Very cool though. I love them. Took me a very long time to purchase those two there. Now we have some freak carries here. We have a freak tiger carry. As you can see there, it's got a weird pattern there. Pretty decent size. Then we have an even freakier tiger carry shell right here. Look at those teeth right there. Super deformed. Very cool. I love freak shells. I think they're just rad. Very, very different. Had those for a long, long time. Have an Admiral cone right here. One of my favorite cone shells ever. I love anything with a textile pattern. And this just absolutely tops it. Haven't found one. I have seen two or three found at my beach. Very small ones, but uh, one day I'll find one for sure. I love it. Definitely one of my favorite shells I own. Next to that one, we have a couple more textile-like patterns. Look at that one there. I recently just purchased this one from Yapoon Shell World. I only paid $5 for this one, which is probably fair. I actually don't know its name. It's definitely not just a standard textile. There's about 30 different uh, like types of textile cone shells, or maybe even more. That look, that look like a textile, but uh, are not. This is a Glory of the Seas cone. These ones used to be very, very rare and very sought after and very pricey. But uh, now they're not so much. But as you guys know, I love the textile patterns. So I had to get this one for the collection. Absolutely. This is like the king of textile patterns. How sweet is that? Glory of the Seas. Right next to those, we have a Miyoki Murex, I believe. These are just incredible. With those flares. I believe they call them a flared Murex. as a more common name. This one's incredible. Look at that. How incredible is that? Another deep water shell there. Pretty sweet. Back up here, we have a giant deep sea... Uh, I think it's called a Thursi Urchin. I actually received this in a trade-up challenge that I did. So I started with a cowrie just like that, that I found myself, and traded up a bunch of other shells like coral and such, 
and I ended up with this giant urchin. This is worth about $140, $150. They're, they're really rare, but that will stay with me forever because it was basically a gift. Actually really hard to get now. Here we have a giant Murex pectin. This has been one of my favorite shells ever. It's definitely in the top three. I've had this one here for about, oh, I'd say about two and a half years. It's been a long time. It's incredible condition. It only has maybe two or three of the top spikes missing, just broken like that. But this one is a huge size, your expectin. Uh, people in Florida call it a Venus comb, I believe. Very, very cool. We noticed this Triton here straight off the bat. Haven't showed it too much previously. Uh, this is actually one of the shells that started it all. Uh, my parents went on a cruise about four years ago to the islands of Numea and purchased this from one of the little stalls over there. So that is very cool. This was many, many years ago. So that is very cool. Right next to that one, we have my Florida... Uh, Queen Conch collection here. We have the giant Queen Conch right there that Imogen purchased for me on my 18th birthday. Here in Australia, if you guys didn't know, uh, it is extremely hard to get these because you can't import them into the country. They are everywhere in Florida. Uh, like there's millions and millions and even just huge piles. You've probably seen them all over the internet, huge piles of them because they are eaten heavily over there and harvested heavily over there. So they're basically an endangered species now, unless, you know, you have a license or something to eat them. I don't know too much about them, but I know there are hundreds of thousands of piles of the broken empty shells from being harvested. So I'm very lucky to get that one. Uh, the reason why they're hard to get here in Australia, one, because you can't import them into the country anymore. So that means that the only ones that are left in Australia are from very old collections, just like that one there. Here we have a uh, sub-adult queen conch. Pretty sweet. Purchased this one quite some time ago. Very cool. But uh, yeah, that, that adult queen conch I received from a girlfriend Imogen for my 20th birthday. And she purchased it from a licensed uh, shell dealer. Pretty cool, right? I was very lucky to get that one. Moving down the line here, we have the uh, Juvenile Queen Conch Shell. I purchased this from a store in Noosa, maybe nine or 10 months ago. Very cool, had to have that for the for the set of three. Now we have the biggest tiger carry I've ever seen in my life. Purchased this one from a store maybe eight or nine months ago. I knew it was huge and very, very hard to get these sizes, so. I got this for a steel price. Probably will never be able to, will never be selling those or actually any of these shells now because, uh, yeah, tiger carriers like that are very hard to buy. Then we have a giant Spondylus uh, Regius, I believe. This one was also a gift from my uh, friends in uh, Texas. Very cool. Thank you guys very much. That is awesome. That also has its label as well. So. That'll stay with me forever. Absolutely. Very, very nice. Then we have a deer carry, an Atlantic Florida deer carry from Sarasota Exotic Shells. They sent me a whole mystery box full of shells for me to keep. And then he sent double of everything for me to give away. And they've already been given away. Uh, I actually unboxed those in a previous episode somewhere down the line of the channel. And uh, they went to a young fella in Hawaii. And um, yeah, that was very cool. So shout out to Sarasota Exotic Shells for that gift. All the gifts. Remember guys, all the gifts that I receive will be staying with me forever. Here's a Murex that I have actually found. This one in particular I didn't found. This was also a gift. But this is what uh, this Murex here looks like. I found this one and the white one was gifted to me so we're getting close to the perfect one i've actually only found two of those murex shells as well ever in my life so we're getting closer another murex here this one was actually found in uh keppel island 
And the reason I purchased it when I was in Yapoon last, when we actually went over to Keppel Island on our jet ski, was because this was like my dream shell to find over there. So that was... So here we have, right next to it, I just call this a black cone. I think any cone shell that has a natural color of black is super, super cool. And again, it has that sort of textile pattern. So that's why I've kept that. And I think I'll keep that forever. I did purchase this one. I just think it's really cool to see a black cone like that. And I know the leopard cone and marble cone have that sort of color tinge to it, but uh, I think that one was really cool. Another Zoila right here. I think this one is called a Zoila Thursites. This one is huge. Again, I was gifted this one by one of my previous uh, shell dealers. So this one does also have its data. This one's huge. I love the underside of this. Just flame colors. Next up, we have the Oliva Porphyria. One of my very sought after shells. Uh, this one was also gifted to me with its data from my friends in Texas. I love that shell. It's definitely in my top five or six or, or, or ten. There's just so many shells that I love. Uh, I've got another Zoila there. Pretty cool urchin. I've got a little cowrie shell there that was gifted to me. A, we've got a... Uh, I can't think of what this one was. It's definitely one of my favorite cone shells ever because again, it has that textile pattern, but it's a much more vibrant textile pattern. Then we have a Konas Milneeds Wadzi, which was also a gift from my friends in Texas. They sent me a huge mystery box full of rarer shells, including that one, that one, that one, and a bunch of others. And that is also on the channel. So go and try and find that on the channel. Very cool. We have a Genonia. Uh, Scafella Genonia. You guys in Florida know these are super hard to find. So that was a gift. Got a giant white tiger carry there. I did purchase this one quite a while ago. I actually purchased it with that one. I noticed these two were absolutely mammoth. So I uh, decided to grab them up. I purchased this here, Murex shell. In uh, I, I purchased it from... Uh, where was it? Shell World Yapoon on our recent trip because it's like gem condition and any sort of pectin like this uh, with perfect spikes is really hard to get. So that was really cool. One of the rarest shells in this little uh, case here. Well, yeah, I'd say one of the rarest shells is definitely this. This is a Pluro. Uh, West Rayleigh's. It has a much longer name, but it's very, very hard to pronounce. This is a very deep water shell. Uh, these are extremely rare and very, very hard to get, especially one this size. These are huge. Uh, these actually grow much, much bigger for the different species, but for the West Rayleigh's, this is about as big as you're going to get. Other species grow maybe two times the size of this. I've seen some collections with 10 or 20 different species of the slit shells, so which is these shells, and they are mega. So that one is a super rare shell. Also has its data. I purchased that one about a year ago. Now this one here, this was also a gift. Comment down below if you guys know the name. I know the name, but uh, I want to test you guys. Do you know this one's name? This one was a gift again from my friends in Florida. Shout out to you guys, David. But uh, yeah, uh, comment down below if you know its name. And I will send you a box of cookies. And right behind all of these, we have my giant Nautilus. I purchased this one off of Facebook Marketplace. It's huge. Let me show you guys how huge it really is. Look at that size. I purchased this off Facebook Marketplace for only $70. How good is that? This thing is huge. This is probably 22, 23 centimeters long. That is huge. Very, very lucky score. That will definitely be staying with me forever. And hopefully I'll find one of those soon. The top level of the shell collection here. As I was talking to you guys about before, here are my Arabian cowrie finds. Now I've found probably over... 150 Arabian cowrie shells over my life, but here are the best ones I've ever found. All at the same beach, all empty shells. Check them out.
massive massive collection of them here just incredible condition on them all i figured i'd give them their own space here because they're all so so gem shells got a bunch more up here a lot of gifts a lot of cool stuff marble cone down the back there strombus bunch of cool stuff tiger cowries tulip shells from florida big old uh sort of banded um baler shells i love this baler shell i think it is so cool love the pattern on that one Ooh. so yeah a lot of these up here were gifts as well like this strombus here was a gift from my friends in texas that was a gift from a mate in florida and this was a gift from my friends in florida they sent a whole bunch of florida shells so thank you to everybody who has sent me gifts from all around the world let's take a look at the other side got a couple of tiger cowries here these were all gifts as well pretty cool got a giant whelk here that was also from sarasota exotic shells thank you mate legend I love the giant whelks. I think they're so cool. Got a bunch of urchins from South Australia that I won on Facebook. Florida fighting conch. A spondylus on a hammer clam. Milk conch out the back there. And a giant uh, pin cushion. Sand dollar, I believe. That was a gift as well. I love the sand dollars. Arrowhead sand dollar. They actually sent me three of those. I do have one more. And I gave the other one to my mum. She loves the sand dollars. And then just up the top here, we have the sort of random stuff, like another sand dollar. Uh, we've got the coral that I found in Yapoon. Biggest, uh, I actually found this while snorkeling the other day. This was stuck between a rock. Didn't bother filming anything because there really wasn't much there. But that's actually the biggest piece of volute that I've ever found. What else do we have? Just miscellaneous sort of stuff up the top here. Arabians. And that's actually the biggest piece of uh, Baylor shell I've found. Way up the top here we have Robert Irwin's photography there from when I went to Australia Zoo recently. I purchased that photo. And then a photo of a turtle found in the Great Barrier Reef by Justin... Uh, Braun, that was pretty cool. Purchased that at his stall at the markets not too long ago. And that's the big piece of uh, sea bush that I found recently. This little shelf here is just sort of for the like random sort of stuff. A lot of gifts as well. A lot of these shelves were gifts from Florida. We've got my sand dollar collection there, clandestine and donkey collection, and my little bean carry collection there. And a lot of these shells are from Florida. Got a giant ton shell there that was gifted to me by my cousin. My first ever shell I purchased. Big old baler right there from Noosa. We got a shuttle shell that was a gift. Some more Florida shells. Mushroom coral. We got an arrowhead. Uh, what is it? Arrowhead. The other arrowhead uh, sand dollar right there. A Nautilus creator beak. Pretty cool. Got that from Yapoon as well. Shell World. Got the giant helmet shell. That, that was also a gift to me by my friend in Florida. That was awesome. I love the king helmets. Got a mermaid purse or a stingray egg casing. More whelks that were gifted to me. Thank you so much for those. They're awesome. Then we got my big boy helmet. This is 35 centimeters long then we have my textile cone collection here are all the textile cone shells that i've found minus the couple of gem condition textiles in the top finds cabinet here are all of the textiles i've found this is definitely the biggest one i've ever found but unfortunately it is missing the tip which is a real shame because if that had the tip it would definitely be going into the cabinet it's a real shame but yeah, they're all the deadly textiles that I've found. Got some more miscellaneous Florida shells that were gifted to me. My giant helmet shell there. That's 35 centimeters long. 
this here volute shell i actually cleaned up and made a video about it it was gifted to me by my mate jack so if you're watching this thank you mate that'll be staying with me forever this one was super rough around the edges and it had a really bad like tan line around the side of it but i did clean that up in an episode of cleaning up a shell so that is somewhere in the channel these shells here were found in Western Australia. I met a fellow sheller probably just a week ago and he gave me a huge bag full of shells that he found in Western Australia. So that was really cool. Uh, what else do we have? Some shells from the Philippines that were gifted to me. Very, very cool. Got a map carry there. All the coral pieces that I found, all the DNA coral sort of things. A magnificent volute that was gifted to me and some Japanese scallops that were found over 120 feet deep below. So they are super cool. Look at this one here. Let me bring it into the light. Look at that. They are super, super cool. I love those. Very, very nice. And that is the collection. That is my whole shell collection to date. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe down below. The reason I made this uh, video today was because I haven't in a while and I've added a ton of new shells to the collection here. And I thought you guys would love to see a close up of everything that I've found. And uh, there's just been no shells around le recently. Uh, so I'm not really able to film any shelling videos for you guys. So I thought I'd bring something new and uh, show you guys what I've been finding the last three years. Alrighty, subscribe down below. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.